looking for a simple morning routine to ease stiffness and pain in your upper back. Keep watching and I will show you how to warm up your joints, how to improve your mobility and flexibility and how to increase your strength so you have less pain, more mobility and you start out your day right. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Eva Venes of painfreeforlifepilaris.com located in San Diego, California. Here on YouTube I share weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain in your body without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to improve your strength, flexibility and mobility. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a routine of how to ease tightness and stiffness in your upper back in the morning. Um, this is a routine that I use with a client who just came back from a long trip and she, she was feeling miserable. She had a lot of upper back pain and she just kind of lost hope that she could feel better. So I used some of these exercises with her and she felt immediate relief and I'm really excited to share these with you because I believe that if you do them, you too can feel and move much better. So let's get started. Um, first, uh, we are going to do a little upper back foam rolling. So get your foam roller out, position that roller so it's a little bit underneath your shoulder blades. And you're just going to put your hands behind your head, tuck your pelvis under, raise your hips from your mat, and let's just roll over that upper back region. Even in the morning, this is a really nice way of massaging the upper back, you know, just increasing blood flow in the tissues, and also um, mobilizing that stiff thoracic spine because the pain and the tightness, the stiffness is coming from your lack of mobility in the, in the thoracic spine region. After you roll over your thoracic spine, you just want to bring that foam roller back a little bit below your shoulder blades. And now let's take advantage of this increased mobility that you already created and we're gonna go into a little bit of a back bend. So don't force it, just take it to the point where you feel um, that you're a little bit out of your comfort zone but you're not feeling pain. Always make sure that your neck is supported. So just lean back, curve your back a little bit over the foam roller and then nice and easy lift back up. And since we have multiple vertebrae in the thoracic spine, we're gonna try and move the roller just a little bit higher. So now we are focusing on a different segment of the thoracic spine. Same thing, just like earlier, you're going to curve your back over that roller and lift back up and then move that foam roller a little bit higher up one more time. So right now it's a little bit more over the middle of the shoulder blades as opposed to the lower part. And again, just curve your body over that foam roller. A lot of the pain and the tightness that you're feeling in your thoracic spine is from the fact that your thoracic spine is curved forward. So now that we are curving it backwards, we are creating more mobility and it will make you feel much, much better. Okay, that was the foam roller part of our uh, routine. And now um, let's do another movement to increase the mobility in the thoracic spine. You can do this in a few different ways. I'm gonna choose sitting cross-legged, but feel free to let your legs hang down if you sit on a chair or on a sofa. And so here you're just going to run your thoracic spine like you're hugging a barrel in front of your body. And then let's reverse that. Extend your thoracic spine as much as you can. Bring the chest forward, slightly tilt back your head. And now let's repeat that again. Round your back, hollow out your stomach. There's a big barrel here that you're having. And then let's reverse that. Let's take it to as much extension as we can. Bring your arms back, push the chest forward. 
elongate and curve back the neck so you're straightening out your thoracic spine. Let's do this a couple more times. Run your back and then extend your back. And I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me from the side now. Run your back, hollow out your stomach. And let's reverse that roundedness. Extend the spine, open the chest, draw your arms and your shoulders back. Um, in the next exercise, I'm going to use a TheraBand. Um, you could technically do it without the TheraBand too, but it adds a nice strengthening element to this. Or just use a hand weight if you don't have a TheraBand at home. Um, so I just put it over my feet and I cross the band, I'm holding it a little bit higher up, I'm choking up on the band. So you're going to grab it with your right hand and pull that band, stretch it out, extend your spine. You could even look over your shoulder for a little added neck mobility and then come back to the center. Let's do this on the other side now. So with your left hand, you're pulling on the band in the same time you're rotating your thoracic spine. And then come back to the center. So what's really important here, guys, and I highlighted it to my clients too, you have to sit up really tall and extend your thoracic spine as good as you can. Because if you're hunched forward, that will limit your ability to rotate. And this was something that she really struggled with, um, but eventually we got her sitting as tall as it was possible and her range of motion immediately increased. So let's do a few repetitions. Let's go to the left, and let's go to the right, and just pause here for a second, make your collarbone stand out, roll back your shoulder, push down your elbow a little bit, and the other side again. Uh, be sure to do at least eight or 10 on each side. This will build strength in your so-called thoracic extensors, really important muscles to strengthen if you have stiffness and arthritis in your uh, shoulder, upper back, neck region, thoracic spine. Okay, uh, now let's add the spine twist, which always feels really nice first thing in the morning. So you're just going to lay down on your back, open your arms to the side. Cross your right leg on top of your left leg and drop your knees towards the right as you look in the opposite direction. So I'm going to look to the left. This is a really nice exercise that will help get more mobility in your upper back region and it will immediately decrease your pain level. So let's drop the knees to the left next and look to the right. You're welcome to hold it as long as you want. It's just a really nice, relaxing stretch first thing in the morning. And then sit back up. We are almost at the end of our routine. So next, you're going to fold up your legs in this Z position, mermaid legs. Uh, put your hand down. Again, extend your thoracic spine. Reach over your head, take it into a nice side bend. Now, this is a really important uh, exercise if you want to increase your spinal mobility and if you want to take that pain down in your um, upper back because this will get those vertebrae moving where you're super stiff. And so from here place both of your hands down on your mat and just slide those hands forward try and get nice deep elongation in your spine and then let's do this on the other side. I'm sure that you're already feeling less pain and increased movement in your upper back, but we are not done yet. Let's stretch out this other side too. Here, guys, it's really important that your head is not hanging forward, so be sure to not do that. Draw your head back and just have your ears in between your arms and your shoulders. And then put both of your hands down and reach out nice and far. And these are a few of those exercises that I use with my client to uh, take down that severe upper back pain that she was feeling. And I'm sure that you're already feeling the increased mobility and the 
and overall just you have less pain from doing these moves. Um, if you would like the complete protocol of what we did, uh, I have a six week program for you. It's an on-demand program and you can do it in the comfort of your own home. Uh, very easy to do and uh, you just have to go to my website www.painfreeforlifepilates.com and click on the shop tab, choose the stretching and the mobility home program and this program contains all the exercises that you need to do in order to eliminate uh, stiffness, arthritis pain in your upper back. I highly encourage uh, that you get this program for yourself if you want to feel better. Um, also, if you would like to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, um, then also visit my website and schedule a free 15-minute phone consultation so we can get things started. Uh, be sure to watch the next video um, because it's going to feel really great on your body. It will um, give you uh, more ideas of what you can do to eliminate stiffness and pain in your upper back. For more great video tips of how to eliminate chronic pain in the body without the use of drugs and surgeries, um, go back to my main YouTube channel and check out my playlists.